What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we'll be discussing the differences between MyFitnessPal and Chronometer, uh, the two leading apps when it comes to tracking your food, tracking your nutrition, so you know exactly how much and what you are putting into your body, okay? We'll discuss the pros and cons of each app, and at the end of the video, I'll go over what app is the best, what app I recommend for your experience level, and kind of what your goals are. So before we hop into it, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's hop straight into it. All right, so first off, we'll start with MyFitnessPal. You've definitely heard this one more so than Chronometer. It's been around longer and it is just massive, okay? It's probably the staple go-to app in the fitness industry, and so it is quite common for newer people uh, to be using MyFitnessPal. So there's three major pros I can think of right off the bat when it comes to MyFitnessPal. The first one being, obviously, it has a massive database, okay? Pretty much every food you can think of uh, is in there. Most restaurant menus are in there, which is nice. Fast food places. Uh, again, the database is so big, so the chances of you scanning a food item or you going to a restaurant um, and adding a, a, an item from their menu is most likely in their database. So that's probably the biggest pro when it comes to MyFitnessPal. Uh, again, the database is just huge. The second major pro of MyFitnessPal is how easy it is to use, okay? It is incredibly user-friendly, it's great for beginners that have never tracked their food or nutrition in the past and just want a better idea of what they're putting into their bodies. So again, super, super easy to use. You literally just scan the barcode of any food you're having. You just enter however much of that food you're, you're having into the app. If a food doesn't have a barcode, for example, maybe an avocado, you would weigh out the avocado and then search avocado on my fitness pal, click it and then enter how much of, again, of, of it you had and then boom, done. If you're out to a restaurant or going out to eat somewhere, uh, you just search the name of that restaurant. So for example, like McDonald's, cheeseburger and then the whole menu uh, should populate inside the app you just click it and again how much how much of it you had and then boom done so again super super easy to use and it's nicely broken down into breakfast lunch dinner snacks so you can kind of put uh the the meals in the respective area on the app so it's really easy uh to, to track and very well organized within the app and the third major pro of my fitness pal is a brand new feature that just came out i think it's an awesome awesome feature that i think chronometer will eventually add in the future uh, and that is you're able to now scan your not just the barcode but actual the actual meal that you're eating so you can literally have let's say you're eating like a chicken with with rice and broccoli the, the plain bodybuilder meal you can literally hover your phone over that and the, and the, the app will scan those, those food items and it'll actually populate inside let's say for dinner uh, that those three items so it's super easy then from there all you have to do is enter how much you had and boom you're done so that's a really cool feature being able to use your camera to identify the foods that you're eating and then my fitness pal will will recognize those foods and then populate it again in in the app and then all you have to do is uh, input how much of it you had of it so those are the three major pros when it comes to using my fitness pal there are two major cons that i want to discuss quickly as well uh, when using the app First one being is that anyone, literally anyone in the world can enter their own information onto the app, uh, which is part of the reason why the database is so massive, right? So this is a problem because uh, one food item could have dozens of different values for calories and macronutrients, which obviously is a problem because you have no idea what's accurate and what's not. So for example, you can go on there, search any food item, let's say avocado, and there can be dozens of different uh, calorie and macronutrient numbers, values. So you have no, again, no idea what is accurate and what isn't. So that is definitely a drawback. Uh, I know they are um, attempting to counteract this by having verified items on there. So that's by MyFitnessPal. So anything with a green check or green kind of uh, icon, uh, that is is um, that, that's how you know it is verified and it's, it's, it's uh, published by MyFitnessPal itself. So the, the issue with that though, that not every food item has one of these. So again, you kind of have to rely on other people's data, which again, may not be accurate. The second major con that I found within the app and one that I, I tell my clients to avoid at all costs is their recommendations for how much to eat. I've noticed that this can be way off. Uh, it tries to give you a value and it kind of gives you a recommendation of the calorie amount you should be eating depending on what your goals are. Again, I found this to be way off and it's, it's a lot different than what I recommend my clients. So again, I, I usually tell my clients to avoid this. Just use the, the diary tab uh, where you can see and record and track your 
for your different meals uh, throughout the day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and then kind of see and use that to uh, see your calorie and macronutrient values. But again, avoid the, the recommendations and uh, the meal plans they give you because again, uh, it is, I found it to be extremely inaccurate. So next up we have Chronometer, a much newer, a much smaller app than MyFitnessPal, at least in terms of monthly users. However, some of the benefits and the features and pros of this app are just phenomenal. So let's hop straight into it. The first pro, the biggest pro, the best of Chronometer is definitely the ability to track micronutrients, okay? What are micronutrients? Micronutrients are simply just the vitamins and minerals from the foods that you're eating. And believe it or not, most people are deficient in many micronutrients. So having this ability to track not just the macros, not just the calories, the proteins, fats, carbs, but also the micronutrients is, is phenomenal, right? If you're someone that cares about their health beyond just building muscle or losing fat, being a calorie surplus or calorie deficit, and you wanna know exactly what you're deficient in, the chronometer is the way to go, okay? Uh, and it's awesome because rather than just blindly taking a multivitamin or, or blindly just taking random supplements and vitamins, you know exactly what to supplement with because again, you have that data to know which vitamins, which minerals you are deficient in. So this is, uh, for me, the best part of Chronometer. Uh, it, again, is the ability to track not just the macros and calories, but also the micronutrients uh, in depth. The next big pro of Chronometer is the database. Okay, although it's not nearly as big as MyFitnessPal, it's much more accurate than MyFitnessPal, okay? And that is because uh, users can't just simply put their own information onto the app. All of the uh, data, all of the information for every single food item on Chronometer is verifiable. It's all by either Chronometer uh, database or USDA or equivalent verifiable sources like those. So that's one uh, definitely a, a massive pro. You know exactly the, the, the food that you're inputting is much, much, much more accurate than uh, on MyFitnessPal where anyone can put, input the data there. A couple of notable cons when it comes to Chronometer, again, going back to the database, although the database is very accurate because it's all coming from verifiable sources. Uh, it's just not nearly as big as MyFitnessPal and that can be an issue because when you're going out to eat or maybe you're having a weird food item or uh, a bizarre food or whatever it is, uh, that food may not be in the database of Chronometer, which can be, can be kind of annoying, especially more so when you're going, going out to eat to restaurants. A lot of restaurant menus aren't in the database of Chronometer, which again, kind of annoying. Uh, and so when that happens, you kind of have to input your own foods uh, and kind of see and get that data for yourself from those restaurants. So again, that's probably one of the biggest downsides. Uh, although the database is growing every month, uh, they just don't nearly have as much restaurant menus or bizarre items or all the foods uh, to be frank in their database. So again, if you, if you are someone that goes out to eat a lot or has um, some foods that just aren't, uh, the, the, when you scan it, just aren't in the database, then it can be annoying because you have to input your own information there. Lastly, the last con I can think of when it comes to chronometer is if you are looking to get chronometer for those uh, micronutrient benefits that I touched on. Uh, I think the full report, the full analytics uh, does come at a premium. So it's not a free version. Uh, it is cheap. Uh, it's like five, 10 bucks at most. Uh, but again, that is, you, you do have to pay to get access to the full analytics of all the micronutrients, all the reports, data, graphs, trends, all that stuff. Uh, if you're looking for the full kind of spectrum micronutrient track. So the big question to end off this video is what is better, MyFitnessPal or Chronometer? And the answer depends on what your goals are and what your experience level is. For me personally, I would prefer Chronometer uh, because it does literally everything that my fitness pal can do, plus the micronutrient tracking that I touched on uh, previously. If you're someone that's brand new, has never tracked calories, never tracked nutrition, brand new into fitness, then I would recommend starting off with MyFitnessPal. Again, it's just so easy to use. The database is massive. You don't have to worry about figuring out calories and macros, proteins, fats, carbs, because pretty much everything is done for you via MyFitnessPal. So it really depends, again, what your experience level is. If you're someone that's new, I would re recommend MyFitnessPal. If you're someone that has been tracking for a few years, you kind of you, you know what calories, protein, fats, carbs, all that stuff are, then, and you're, and you're more interested in kind of uh, your overall health, what to supplement with, what you're deficient in, then I would definitely recommend recommend uh, Chronometer for those added benefits. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and we'll see you here next Sunday. Peace.